Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So tonight's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a get unready with me. I did film a get ready with me earlier today, not on this look. I actually took the makeup that I did off and put this makeup on. Um, so that will be up later this week. But I was mindlessly scrolling on TikTok as one does and came across this video. Let's be here real quick because some of these influencers are out of their goddamn mind. There's an OG YouTuber on Instagram right now who has 2 million subscribers, 1 million followers on Instagram, posts about their luxurious life, but is asking her followers for $20,000. Why is she asking for $20,000 in donations? It's because her dad just got diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. So are GoFundMe's bad? No, they're not. But when you have a lot of money, a million dollar house, multi-million probably, and you're asking your followers for $20,000, that doesn't really sit right with me. Does this affect my daily life? Absolutely not. Originally when I saw the post, I was like, oh, that's really sad, right? Because nobody should have to go through that. But then this morning as I'm scrolling, I see that she's posting a get ready with me and talking about how she's moving out of state, selling her house. And then she's asking her followers, oh, should I do like a Parisian farmhouse type of thing? Or how should I style my new house? I'm like thinking to myself, girl, aren't you the one who's asking people for $20,000? I'm pretty sure that it costs more money to freaking renovate your house, build a new one and move out of state. So regardless of whatever she's doing with her money, I think it's like in bad taste to be asking people for donations when all you do is post your fantastic life. It just reminded me of like when The Rock and Oprah started asking for money for Hawaii. It just kind of like sends the wrong message, you know? And I know that I'm being a hater and I know that I can keep scrolling, but something like that, I'm just like, what the hell, right? Because if that, if that was me, I'd be selling my cars, I would sell my house, I would do whatever I needed to do in order to get whatever I needed for that person. And if she's like legitimately strapped for cash, why the hell is she moving? Why is she asking people how she should redecorate her house and like renovate it? To me, it's in bad taste. Is this gonna ruin my day? Absolutely not. But I'm just like, wow, really? Why don't you take up like a couple sponsorships, okay? I'd much rather watch you do a sponsorship while they're paying you a lot of money so you can give it to your dad than me go out and donate to somebody like a multimillionaire. Are you kidding me? So I came across Desiree's video and figured, you know what? Why not do a sit down, get unready with me while we discuss the situation? So let's get into it. So to take my makeup off, I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees Micellar Coconut... <laughs> micellar coconut and lotus facial towelettes uh this is supposedly a three-in-one it removes makeup cleanses and hydrates i really do like this one i originally before i found this one this bird's bees one i was using the walmart like store brand version of the makeup wipes and they burnt <gasps> out of my eyes like to the point where it felt like my eyeballs were boiling and so I stopped using them altogether because they were just terrible. These don't do that. I don't know what is in the Walmart ones that is not in these, but these are amazing. I love them so much. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the conversation about what this video done by Desiree was about. So if you are someone who has been an avid watcher of the beauty community here on YouTube for any length of time, you probably remember this creator, Dulce Candy. If you have no idea who she is, she was actually one of the first Latina uh, creators that I used to watch. I believe she was even on YouTube before Kathleen Lights was even a creator. Um, and she was one of the first ones that I used to watch and I loved watching her haul videos. She had an amazing makeup collection at one point. And there was a time on YouTube where the beauty community was a lot of just makeup collection videos and they were addicting to watch. A uh, interesting trend that I've noticed amongst the larger OG YouTubers has been watching them transition from long form content like YouTube videos over to TikTok videos, which are more short form content. And what's interesting about it is that they've gone from doing reviews of makeup like they used to do on their channel to shilling different products. I've seen against my will, Jeffree Star's dumbass on fucking TikTok trying to sell all sorts of shit from his brand because I guess the popularity is not what it used to be on his website anymore for his makeup, which he fully deserves. Fuck Jeffree Star. And Tati is another one who is shilling this like weird, I don't even know what it is. It's like a, 
like a skincare brand, I guess, that she keeps trying to like sell on her TikTok. She's always going live. Like I've gone on TikTok and there've been quite a few times where I've been on there for like 30 minutes and I've seen her live pop up multiple times because it's just, for some reason, the algorithm tries to bring me back to her content. I'm like, I don't ever want to hear from her or James Charles or Jeffree Star ever again and i try to like block the creators and i don't know how to and then you have dulce who is as you saw in this video being called out by this creator and a lot of other people as well for making i guess a gofundme that she had created in order to raise funds to help her father with cancer treatment but this situation is a little icky to me and here's why the reason why i find this to be so icky is the same reason why people found Oprah and The Rock getting on TV and begging the American citizens to donate all this money to help people of Hawaii who had their homes burned down that tragic fire a few years ago. Um, a lot of people felt like it was such an icky move because these are two multimillionaires who realistically could very easily cover what was asked to be donated with one with one swing like they could in themselves and I, I remember a lot of people felt so like up in arms about it because it was just so weird and this is giving the exact same energy i understand that it's to help her father in his cancer treatment but what i can't seem to get past and it's what desiree mentioned in her video um is the fact that there are and actually a lot of people mentioned too um, there are a lot of things that Dulce has that she could very easily get rid of. And as a matter of fact, she even talks about how she's trying to, well, here's the video. We're moving. I've always dreamt of having a farm where I can build my parents a home. Lots of land, farm animals, a medicinal garden. Nothing in life is permanent. So we're selling our beautiful home and we're moving out of state. I'm really thinking of decorating our next house with like a French farmhouse. My hubby's actually flying out of town today to go look at the property. When I was going through the comments of Desiree's video on TikTok, a lot of people were saying, well, why doesn't she just sell her huge purse collection? Why doesn't she do this? Why doesn't she do that? And it's like, these are all valid arguments. And of course, one could say, okay, but you don't have to donate. It's that simple. And even Desiree mentions that in her video. She's like, is this gonna, you know, affect my life at all? No, but it's still just icky. And it really does rub one the wrong way to see things like this because she is clearly wealthy. She's clearly on a different level than a lot of us are in this country, which brings me to the final point of this video. The reason why I feel like this is so ugh, is because I, I feel like a lot of these influencers live in an alternate reality. And because of that, they are incapable of reading the room. I feel like there are a lot of influencers like Dulce who are living in an alternate reality where the issues that you and I are facing every single day or people who are in a lot worse situations than us are facing every single day, they, they have no situational awareness to what's going on in the world and how bad it is right now because of inflation. Because inflation, I don't know about you guys, inflation is kicking everyone's ass, including mine, okay? I went to the store the other day and spent $150 on something that I feel like would have cost me maybe a little more than half of that like two, three years ago. I feel like it is nasty work to sit online and beg people for their hard earned money for something that you yourself can fund. And you cannot, there is not enough that this woman could say to convince me otherwise. Because if you go on her YouTube channel, you see a lot of sponsorships, Walmart, Amazon, Neutrogena was a huge one. Um, there was all sorts of sponsorships on there. There's sponsored content on her TikTok, on her Instagram. She gets sponsorships left and right. One of those sponsorships, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, I looked into what sponsorships can pay out especially given for someone in Dulce's situation where she's a, a an OG YouTuber with a very large platform. Do you know that these sponsorships can pay out thousands and thousands of dollars? Now, as if it couldn't get any worse, it does. I don't know if it's just me reading into the video or what's being said or the sound that's being used, but Dulce just posted this this morning 
and it's pretty bad. There's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. Sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is, bitch. Actually, I take back my last comment. A lot of people see it for what it is and are taking it at face value and seeing it as her responding to Desiree's video, which again, is getting numbers, it's, it's, get, it's getting traction. And she's getting called out left and right, baby. And I, I love to see it. But this situation is still fucked up. A few years ago, I put out an intention out into the grand universe. And I specifically said, I want to be teaching meditation all over the world in beautiful locations. And the fact that it's happening right now, this is literally the moment that is happening, makes this moment even more special. So our next retreat is happening in July, 2025. We are going to be going to Bali in Indonesia. Anywho, I want to hear from you all on the audience. I want to know what you think. Do you believe that everyone's kind of blowing out of proportion? That's not a big deal. Or do you find like I do that it's a very icky situation? And do you agree with Desiree, the original poster of the video on TikTok? Sound off down below. This was supposed to be a get unready with me, but all I really did was take makeup off my face. So I guess that's that. All I'm going to do now is just wash my face and moisturize. Uh, and then they crawl into bed and edit this video. So with that being said, like I said, sound off in the comments. How do you feel about the situation? And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.